So, extreme experience. Uh, you've probably heard of it, maybe you haven't, but basically you drive a supercar, so you know, Ferrari, Lamborghini, GTR, Porsche, McLaren, you name it, they got it there, Corvette C8. You drive the car on the track, so you know, that's pretty cool, right? But, here's the thing. I was looking for, oh, I get to drive a GT500, cool, on the track, yes, no speed limits, no cars I gotta worry about, I can have fun, let's do it, right? But that's not really what it is, it's really kind of a, a lesson, a track lesson, you're just in a supercar. So that's not really what I'm, I didn't care about learning how to drive on the track, I just wanted to get in this thing and have some fun. But you can't really do that, I mean, you maybe you can, but I really didn't, because the whole time you got some guy talking to you, telling you how to drive on the track and all that when I really don't care I just want to drive on the track so that was my biggest problem it cost around $250 for me to drive uh, the GT500 on the track and you only get three laps I can literally bring I brought my car to this the same track for 200 like 20 200 like 25 it was cheaper than this and I got to drive my car I would say I got at least 20 laps you get 18 minutes on the track and you do it four times so it's way more time and it's cheaper than this so unless you really really want to get in a supercar and and drive it on the track just because you'll never probably do it again then maybe it's worth it but for me that really wasn't worth it on top of that the car felt really slow like it had 760 horsepower but it really didn't feel like 760 horsepower so i'm assuming it's because it was overheated because they're just getting people driving it back to back and it's just non-stop so it probably overheated but it was like i was flooring and i'm like this doesn't feel as it doesn't feel like it has double the horsepower my car has so i don't know it wasn't the greatest experience for me like i said if you really if you really don't care and you just want to get in a supercar and be like yeah i did it and i mean you can take a picture but it wasn't like it was everything was so quick like they're trying to get you in and out so it wasn't like you had real time to like look at the car and get in it and then take pictures and all that not not at least when I went, but what is worth it is this thing right here. So this was $50. You get to go in the car and you get a professional track driver to take you around the track. And he knows what he's doing. So it was it was pretty crazy. Like he was, like I really enjoyed it. This is what I thought I was going to be doing in the uh, GT500. Not exactly that because like I don't know how to drive in the track that well. But I thought it would be something similar. But the whole time I'm just trying to listen to what the guy was telling me. And I was just scared to do anything because I didn't want him to be like, oh, no, what are you doing, blah, blah, blah. So, um, yeah, out of out of 10, I would give it like a 5. Like, it really, I have more fun driving my car on the track and having more time. So, what they need to do is either jack up the price and give you actually more time on the track. Like, at least 10 laps. Like, I don't care if I paid uh, uh, 350 if I can get just 10 laps with the car. And I kind of want to be by myself. Like, I really don't want someone in there. But if you have to, whatever. Ten laps, at least you can learn something. Because you're not going to learn how to drive on the track in three laps. Like, you need you need more practice than that. So, it's like, why even bother? Either do that or they need to reduce the price and make it cheaper. And um, then it could be worth it. If, if I only need to pay a hundred and something to get to drive it three times around the track, then that wouldn't be a problem. But I paid the same amount or I paid more than what it takes for me to drive my own car um on the same track where i can do that like all day so really really and like especially if i paid more money just to i mean a lambo is a lambo ferrari is a ferrari but still like that's a lot of money for literally 10 minutes on the track you do get a video of you driving the car on the track and that's pretty good you get the inside and outside which i have in this video it's at the end but yeah Pretty much that's, and you have to pay for that. And it was like $60, I think. And you can also, so you do take a picture while you're in the car, but you also have to pay for that. Clearly, you can take pictures if you're like looking at the other cars. As you see, I took videos and all that. But um, I saw a group of people did take a picture next to a car, but I don't know if that's like a thing they really do a lot. But overall, the experience could be better. It was kind of rushed, I felt like. But I mean, it's understandable. But if it wasn't, if it was rust and I actually enjoyed it, then it wouldn't have been a problem. But it was like, come on now. But um, yeah, I'll play with the rest of the video here. If you really want to see that, you can hear the guy talk to me. Um, thanks for watching. If you've done this, let me know how your experience was. Was it extreme or was it extremely trash? 
make sure you subscribe like the video peace So after that, you're gonna see those red cones, that's break, firm break. When I'm shaking my fist, I need you to push harder on it. If I'm yelling breaks, two fists, you gotta push even harder. All right, so when we're coming down here, firm, hard break. No, we're going right behind that GT. Nice and slow, yeah. It's all right, Marcus, you can hear me all right, right? Yeah. Okay. So remember, easy on the loud pedal when you got steering input. 700 horsepower plus, yep. rear wheel drive, yep. gets tail happy, so we want to be really smooth on that accelerator pedal. Yeah, just like my Mustang. What's that? I got I got a Mustang, so I've... I've... Okay, slow, yep, stop here, stop here. Oh, yeah. we... Remember, we yeah, we want to let those guys get up the hill around the corner there. Yeah, there you go. Nope, go not yet, no. We... That car is way too close to him. Now you can start giving it gas, but nice and easy. Yeah, we're just going to ease on up the hill. So the first lap for us is going to be nothing more than kind of learning where the track's going. Keep those hands down at nine and three for me. Start rolling on the throttle. Yep, just kind of rolling that gas. So Marcus, here we are, beautiful New Jersey Motorsports Park in the bright orange Ford Shelby GT500. So stay to the right. There's our green apex cone, no brake needed. So go ahead and start rolling on a little bit more gas. Roll the more gas through the corner. Let it track out to orange. There's our turning cone, so all the way out to orange. Now back to green. Hug my side, look all the way through the corner. Now you're gonna see that next green apex cone. Start rolling on the throttle. Make sure you're giving yourself three foot from the edge of the track. Stay left, and now you're looking at that green apex cone up on the hill. Keep rolling gas, no brake needed. Roll some more speed up the hill, turn right now, get it right, all the way to green apex cone. Now you start rolling on the gas, more gas, yep. Push on that accelerator, stay out left, more gas, yep. Keep accelerating, now back to the right. A little bit more gas, now back to the right. There's our two yellow lift cones, so it's a lift and brakes. Push on the brakes, Marcus, push on them. Release the brakes, slow it up, but wait, oh. then turn. There you go, now you're getting it. Now roll on that throttle, nice and smooth, more gas, more speed, now back to your side, yep, keep accelerating, more speed, stay left, uh, easy on the accelerator, remember, lift, brake, stay out left, when we got that steering input, we want to be really gentle on that throttle, so now you can start rolling on some more throttle, but gently, more speed, more acceleration, back down to the right, more gas, all the way down to green, and then back out to orange, your side, now back to orange, my side. More gas, more gas, more gas, Marcus. Push down that throttle. All the gas now. Flat on the floor, flat. There's our two yellow lift cones. Get ready, Marcus. And then lift into yellow. Lift and brakes. Push on it harder, Marcus. Push harder. Release the brakes. Nice job there, Marcus. Release. Wait. Then turn in. Stay your side. Now gas. Give it all the gas. Gas. Stay out, release the brakes, release, no more brake. Turn in, a little bit more gas, yep, stay left. Now bring it back to the right, all the way to the right. Get it all the way my side to that cone, now left. Look all the way through the corners, Marcus, get those eyes up. Yeah, nice job. Roll gas, more gas, yep, no brake needed. Yep, stay left, give it some more gas, Marcus. Stay my side now, hug this side. Get over the hill, now you start rolling on the gas pedal. Nice and smooth, more gas, yep. Keep rolling on some more throttle, more throttle. Back to my side. My side, it's a lift, brake board, and a brake. Release the brakes, we're slowing up, but go to the turn in. Now turn. Marcus, nice job there, nice. Start rolling on the gas, nice and smooth, rolling that throttle. More throttle, keep rolling on the throttle. More gas, stay your side. Yep, more gas, get ready. Lift, brake slightly. Release the brakes, but stay out. And then turn in. Yep, we'll get it next time. Back down to green, all the way down to green. All the way down to green, and then track out to orange. And now you're starting to roll on that throttle pedal. More gas, more gas. Now back my side. Now you're all the way on the floor. Release. 
third, Marcus. Nice job there, Marcus. Gas, on the gas. Gas. Just a lift. No brake needed. Stay left. Stay left. No brake. Now turn. 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 Get it in. Track out. Marcus, didn't that feel good? Back to right. Now back to left. Start rolling on that throttle. Stay left. Just a lift. But stay out. No brake needed. Now back my side. To my side. Get it my side. Hug my side. Up over the hill. Now you're on the gas. Smoothly. Yep. Back my side. All the way my side. Here comes our two yellow lift cones. Ready? It's going to be a lift and a brakes. Push on those brakes. Release. Release the brakes. Turn. Start rolling on the throttle, nice and smooth. Now start rolling more gas, more throttle, more gas. Pull on that gas. Get ready, stay left. There's our lift cone, stay left. And lift. Brakes slightly. Stay out, release the brakes, but stay. Then turn big track. And then all the way down to green. Track out orange, and then this time we're going into the pits. So let it track out, more gas. Yep, keep giving some gas. Let it track out. Now back to the right. Start slowing it down now, Marcus. And then see a white line. Stay to the right of that white line. There's the white line. Right here is good. A little slower. Marcus, nice job. Okay. It, like, honest, like, I know I've watched plenty of videos. I'm not, I'm not pro, but okay. I like, know like, how you're supposed to and all that. But then like when I'm trying to think about the cones, too, it kind of makes it harder. Like, if you were just, like, telling me, I think right. it would have been easier than trying to focus on the cones and looking at them. Right. But so the cones, you're trying to take in peripheral. So yeah. if you're looking at the cones, you really need to look further ahead. So you kept hearing me say, look further ahead. Yeah. Look through the corner. That's trying to get you not to focus on the cones so much, but looking through the corner. So get ready to stop. But even as a race car driver, I use visual references as far as where I'm going to brake, yeah. where I'm going to turn. So like up here, I might say to myself in a race car, the third or the, yeah, the third white checker, see that white stripe? Yeah. That's where I'm going to turn in at. So you do use those reference markers. So you yeah. really do need to get used to driving using those references. All right, you stop right here, put it in park. But yeah, it, is it a lot to process? Absolutely. Yeah. And the more you do it, the better your brain is going to get to process those reference markers and feel the car and be safe. Gotcha. Yeah. All so right. go ahead and slide that seat back.